This program is a repeat of an earlier telecast. Hi, I'm Tina, and welcome to the King Family Show. I was just a lad of him, my father said to me, come here and take a lesson from the lovely lemon tree. So put your face in love, my boy, my father said to me, I fear you'll find that love is like the lovely lemon tree. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the King Family. Tonight, the King Family is being brought to you by Solar Cane Lotion, Spray and First Aid Cream. Stop sunburn pain with Solar Cane. We'll return to the King Family after this brief message. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jane Powell. And this week at the Hollywood Palace, your host will be one of the most exciting entertainers in history. <coughs> oh, please, Jane, I embarrass rather easily. Oh, you do? Well, you know, I wasn't even talking about you, Tim Conway. You weren't? No. Oh, the shame of it. A <laughs> fool before millions. <laughs> no, Tim. It's all right, but you know, maybe you can help me. The initials are M.C. M.C. Uh, McHale's crew. No. Uh, Mother Conway. My mom? Oh. How's this for a hint? Maurice Chevalier. I was only spoofing. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Tim. It was very nice of you, Jane, to say all those kind things about me. Actually, I'm very happy to be at the Hollywood Palace with such gifted entertainers as you and Tim, Rowan and Martin, and André Taron. Won't you join us at the Hollywood Palace this week on ABC? Ladies and gentlemen, the King family. Measure beyond measure to have 
Happy vacation time, spoiled by painful sunburn. Best first aid you can use is Solar Cane. It acts on skin nerves with Benzocaine, ingredient used by doctors. Solar Cane really stops sunburn pain, instantly cools, moisturizes skin. Antiseptic, aids healing. There's nothing like it. Comes in lotion, cream, and convenient spray form. Stop sunburn pain with Solar Cane. And help stop burn of heat rash with Mexana powder. Beat the heat. Beat itching skin misery. Chafe. Hot, tired feet. Mexana speeds medicated relief, as no ordinary talcum can. Its medically approved cornstarch base is far more absorbent, gives better protection against chafe, destroys many harmful skin bacteria, too. Beat the heat with cooling, soothing Mexana. Hello, Nancy. This is Rob Ray. Say, how about a date tonight? Tomorrow night? Sound familiar? <laughs> if you have teenagers living in your house, then you must know that they regard the telephone as their own personal private property. 
Alexander Graham Bell did it just for them. <laughs> what I don't understand, though, is why do they talk for an hour when they've just seen each other five minutes ago? <laughs> that does it, Rob. You've gone through every name in the book. I can't understand why I don't appeal to girls. I guess I just don't understand women. Rick, why can't a woman be more like a man? Yeah, men are so honest. You bet. So thoroughly square. You're darn right. Eternally noble. Historically fair. Who when you win will always give your back a pass. Yeah, why can't a woman be like that? Why must each one do just like the others do? Can a woman learn to use her head? Why do they do everything their mothers do? Why don't they grow up like, like their fathers instead? Yeah. Why, why can't a woman take after a man? Men are so pleasant, so, so easy, easy to, to please. please. Whenever well, you're with them, you're always at ease. Would you be slighted if I didn't speak for hours? Of course not. Would you be livid if I had a date or two? Nonsense. Would you be wounded if I never sent you flowers? Never. Then why can't a woman be like you? Boy, Rob, I'm sure glad we started this conversation. You know, I could have gone on through life with my eyes closed. But by comparison, we guys are the greatest. One man in a million might shout a bit. You shouted. Well, now and then there's ones with slight defects. One, perhaps, whose truthfulness you doubt a bit. Yeah, but by and large, we are a marvelous sex. Why can't a woman behave like a man? Men are so friendly, yeah. good-natured and kind. A better companion? You never will find. If I were hours late for dinner, would you bellow? Who, me? If I forgot your silly birthday, would you fuss? Are you kidding? Would you complain if I took out another fella? Never! Why can't a woman be like us?
wonderful. Oh, you know, another problem we parents have is finding a vacant mirror around the house. And if you have a daughter, like my daughter, Tina, who has a date and a new dress and stars in her eyes, what you wind up saying is, mirror, mirror on the wall, I never get to use you at all. <laughs> I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who is me today. I feel charming, oh so charming, it's alarming how charming I feel, and so pretty that I hardly can believe I'm real. To the pretty girl in that mirror there, who can that attractive girl be? Such a pretty face, such a pretty dress, such a pretty smile, such a pretty me. I feel stunning and entrancing, feel like running and dancing for joy, for I'm loved by a pretty, wonderful boy. Have you met my cousin, Tina, the craziest girl on the block? You'll know her the minute you see her, she's the one who is in an advance a shock. She thinks she's in love, she thinks she's in vain. La, la, la. She isn't in love, she's merely insane. It must be the heat or some rare disease. La, la, la. More too much to eat. Or maybe it's sweet. <laughs> So pretty that the city should give me its key. A committee should be organized to honor me. La 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 la. I feel dizzy. I feel funny. I feel fizzy and funny and fine and so pretty. Miss America can just resign. La 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 la. See the pretty girl in that mirror there. What Such a pretty smile, such a pretty me. I feel stunning and entrancing. Like running and dancing for joy. By a pretty. Sunday night on ABC's Wide World of Entertainment, you'll see the battle of the sexes at its funniest on Broadside. Pull yourself together, sir. Where's Big Daddy? I, 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 mean, I mean, where's Commander Abraham? <laughs> there she blows. made you the great leader that you are today. Cheat a little. Next, stay tuned for a great box office hit on the Sunday night movie. You watch Hollywood's hottest stars give stunning performances in some of the most popular motion pictures ever filmed. These are the big ones. Don't miss a single feature of this lineup of hits every week on the Sunday night movie. Watch Broadside, followed by the Sunday night movie on ABC. Vaughn was all of four years old, and we sounded something like this. I'll be loving you, always. Well, 
Sisters. You know, there's always been a sister act, even way back in the days of vaudeville. You should know. <laughs> like the Duncan sisters, and the Cherry sisters, and the Dolly sisters, who usually did a routine that went something like this. So great, those wonderful Boswell sisters. A one, two, three, four. Let's sing a little jingle till hard times are over. A happy jungle lingo to short times are over. Here comes the great big one. Do your fucking up, my mother, be back. Let's sing a jingle joy. A few years later, records really came into their own. With them, another sister act, the queens of the jukebox, the Andrew sisters. I'm Patty. Uh, I'm Maxine. I'm Laverne. <laughs> multiple recordings. It was a brand new kind of sister act. Miss Patty Page, Miss Patty Page, and Miss Patty Page. <laughs> How much you bet you know it's yours. Arf, arf! No one will know agony Team, the girl who sounds like about 16 sisters with 700 guitars, Mary Ford with Liz Cole. Do what the world is singing for our child. Every little foot thought is covered with dew, and my heart is crying for you. But the King sisters will go on and on and on. Hey! <laughs> Not so many mechanical devices, no tricks, just because we've got the gosh darn many sisters. And we love to sing. Not for just tonight.
There's a new musical on Broadway called Baker Street, in which a lovely number tells how happy and fortunate a man feels to be married. A sentiment that is shared by our brother-in-law, Bob Clark. <laughs> Wonderful to be a married man. For now I know life's purpose and its plan since time began. A lonely man, I took a wife and added love and laughter to my life. And realized there's no one richer than a married man. With two to share each happiness, and two to bear each woe. Oh, the woe seems so much less, and how the pleasures grow. The bachelor, the bachelor. I've lived his life, and I've lived with her. Well, let him lead his so-called merry life as best he can but as for me i'd rather be a happy man contented man a married man yes as for me i'd rather be Happy man, contented man, a married man. You know, last summer when we put on our King family show, well, the cousins did a number from Bye Bye Birdie called The Telephone Hour. And you know, we've had lots of letters asking them to do it again. People liked it because, well, I guess, because the kids were doing what comes naturally. So here are the cousins back on that busy line. <laughs>
any angle, weekday television shines brightest on ABC. Why? Because that's where the action is. This is Dick Clark inviting you to see the top acts of America's new beat. We'll swing all the way from Waikiki Beach to a ski slope in Canada. Come along as the brightest, youngest show on TV goes where the action is. Then see a time for us. This powerful drama springs from the interwoven lives of two young sisters. One a frustrated homebody, the other an ambitious career girl. You know I love you. You're capable of loving anybody but yourself. She's out of my life. I don't believe that. Well, I'll prove it. Experience this compelling daytime drama. A time for us right after you go where the action is every weekday on ABC. So a pretty good audience whenever Marilyn sings. Marilyn?
Well, now that Alvino has accompanied the family and accompanied Marilyn, I think he's entitled to play something by himself. Right. Right? <laughs> All right. Ready, Alvino? Okay. Come on. Uh, Alvino Ray is going to play the guitar boogie. One minute, Bonnie. It's the guitar boogie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number. Now, everybody, it's time for the family orchestra. Oh, yeah. 
you have to hide your hair to look prettier? Why should you look like this when you can look like this? To keep your hair always at its beautiful best, you need Condition by Clairol, the beauty prescription for troubled hair. Sure, sun is fun, but oh, how it can hurt your hair. Burn away its life and luster, over bleach it, dry away its bounce and body. Now, yes, now is when you need the deep down beauty building action of Condition, the beauty pack treatment that needs no heat actually makes your hair feel stronger. So hairdressers prescribe it to keep hair at the top of its beauty in spite of sun and sea burning away its life and luster. So if you have to hide your hair to look prettier, get conditioned by Clairol, the beauty prescription for troubled hair. And right away your hair will be too beautiful to hide, lovelier, more appealing than ever. Thank you. 
week, we lost one of our great artists, our dear friend, Nat King Cole. He was loved, he was respected, and he'll never be forgotten. There was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. They say he wandered very far, very far over land and sea. A little shy and sad. Is that cologne she's so lavish with? No, new air freshener. Beautiful new Glade Mist. Look, there's no cap. Just press here. Glade Mist sprays where your finger points. Feels cool, fresh, and comes in four delicate fragrances, each at a new low price. New Glade Mist feels cool as it clears and freshens the air. Try it. Good furniture resents dusting with only a dust cloth. Don't give up. Try Pledge with your dust cloth. Pledge removes dirt, smudges, ordinary dusting can't. Cleans and waxes. Leaves a beautiful hard wax shine. Use Johnson's Pledge for wax duty instantly as you dust. Every time you dust. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. Thank you. 
Thank you for being with us. We'll, we'll see you next week. And don't forget, Lawrence Welk is next. Good night. Good night. Tonight, the King Family Show was brought to you by Johnson, creators of Pledge, for waxed beauty instantly as you dust. And by Clairol, creators of the exciting natural look in beauty. And tonight, by Clairol Condition, the beauty prescription for troubled hair. Peace and plenty here Laszlo de Lombas, Carmen Estates, Lorenzo Diablo, and Paulina del Rio think Steve Murray is great. Steve wasn't out to win a personality contest when he joined the Peace Corps. It just worked out that way. The world needs more people like Steve. You might be one of them. Write the Peace Corps, Washington, D.C.